I mean, I think the main thing about Rochester, it's um, it's a little bit of a small town with an upscale feeling. I think the um, IBM and the Mayo Clinic have made Rochester like kind of a, a little bit of a white collar, um, fun, classy town with them. Um, a lot of things to do. There's there's parks, there's lakes, there's um, trails, there's um, you know places to ride your bike, and then downtown there's um you know there's like it's a nice little city you know with the, with a the skyway when it's when it's cold and then when it's nice out there's there's restaurants there's um there's business there's um and there's a lot of things to do so it's a wonderful um little city um that uh, is here in uh, in Minnesota there is a it's a great place to to visit it's a great place to hang out and if you want to go to a hospital you know, nobody ever wants to go to the hospital but it is the best hospital in the world you know i know i'm partial my stepmom worked there my dad's a client um nothing but good things to say about um, the mail clinic the service and the professionalism uh there's been a, a great history of athletics and sports that come out of rochester i mean even some baseball players and things like that so it was a it's a fun place it's it's competitive and um they take they take sports seriously in rochester which i can uh, certainly appreciate sports is um I think a common denominator and it always um, feels to me like it breaks down barriers. My parents are from the South. My mom is from Mississippi. My dad is from St. Louis, Missouri. And we came there and, you know, just kind of like you grow up. And then I was blessed enough to get the opportunity to play football at the University of Minnesota. Um, that's when I really realized that it was a big deal and that it was um, represent your, to your city uh, and to represent your state uh, and then to carry the pride. And I very proud of what we've, uh, what we and I was able to accomplish um, at the University of uh, Minnesota and Green Bay Packers, and um, it means a lot. You know, it means a lot for the for the people, for the city, for the state. And I'm still proud of you know folks that come out of there. And I'm I'm just in Rochester, you know, probably you know one or two times a month. And I talk to my dad and my stepmom quite a bit, but it means a lot. Moving football back to campus is one of the most um, beneficial things that I've seen in my. Um, football career and my broadcasting career, quite honestly. I just think it, um, you know, it, it's brought back um, the pride to to campus, to the university, uh, and it brings back memories. What my most fond memory would probably be beating Michigan the year before that at Michigan when they were ranked, I think I want to say like number two or number one in the country, we beat them. I think we were like a 25 or 30 point underdog coming into that game and we hung around and hung around. We had a tough team. Our team was tough, just like tough guys. Ray Hitchcock, Mark Duspavik, Ricky Foggy, um, you know, Larry Joyner, and um, just a bunch of like, you know, junkyard dog, tough guys that wouldn't, that wouldn't give up. And that's who I learned from 